I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand what are factors. Well the definition of factors is given right in the very beginning. I would like you to copy this definition and understand. It says factor is a whole number that divides another whole number without any remainder. So that is what a factor is. That is to say if I divide 10 by a whole number let us say 2. So it goes 5 times, right? 2 times 5 is 10, the remainder is 0. In that case, 2 is a factor of 10, correct? But if I divide 10 by 3, then 3 times 3 is 9, I get 1 as a remainder. So 3 is not a factor, correct? So that is how you can understand. So 2 is a factor, so this one is a factor, but this one is not a factor of 10, correct? Since it divides but leaves a remainder. So now let's get back to the definition which says factor is a whole number, so 2 is a whole number. That divides another whole number, 10, so we are dealing with whole numbers, without any remainder no remainder means it is a factor if there is a remainder other than zero then it is not a factor so that is the definition of factors now let's further look into a few more examples find all possible factors of the following numbers now critical thing here is all possible factors right so you should not exclude any number there which is a factor Let's begin with 20. The technique to find all possible will be discussed now. So 20. Always 1 is a factor of each and every number. We say 1 times what is 20? The number itself, right? So 1 times 20 is 20. So we get two factors. So the way I'm writing is kind of interesting because it takes care of all the possible factors. Now 20 is an even number, it ends with 0, therefore 2 is a factor, right? Even number, that is why I am saying, so 2 goes how many times in 20? That means 20 gets divided by 2 without any remainder if I multiply 2 by 10. So that means 2 and 10, both are factors, right? I could have written 5 times 2 also. Now 3, 2 plus 0 is 2 which cannot be divided by 3, so 3 is not a factor. How about 4? Well, 4 is a factor. 4 times 5 is 20. Now, the next number is 5. So, you came to 5, 5 times 4. So, that means these numbers are going to repeat. And that ensures that we have covered all the factors of 20. Now, if you see, 4 times 5 is 20, 2 times 10 is 20, and 1 times 20 is 20. If you connect like this, it forms a rainbow. So sometimes we use this term model as a rainbow for all the factors. Correct? Now as an exercise, I would like you to pause the video and write down all the factors of the numbers given here. So we have next set is 24 and then we have 28 and 31. So let's continue. We'll follow this method, right? So 24 always start with 1, 1 times the number itself, so I am writing it further away, 24. 1 times 24 is 24, correct? So I get my kind of rainbow. Even number, you can divide by 2, 2 times 12 is 24, perfect. 3, 4 plus 2 is 6. When you add the numbers and it is divisible by 3, the whole number is divisible by 3. That's the divisibility rule for 3. You should remember that. So 3 times 8 is 24. How about 4? The last two numbers can go by 4. 4 times 6 is 24. It cannot be divided by 5 since it is not ending with 0 or 5. Correct? So these are all the numbers. Next is 6. 6 times 4, 8 times 3, 12 times 2 and 24 times 1. It repeats. So Rainbow helps to figure out all the possible factors, correct? Now let's get back to the next one, which is 28. Now 1 times the number itself, which is 28. 
it's even number so 2 times 14 half of 28 3 2 plus 8 is 10 so it doesn't go 4 yes it does 4 times 7 is 28 so we kind of get our rainbow now so that is how we can get all the factors of 28 31 1 times 31 is 31 correct so we know 1 times 31 is 31 but do we have any other factor of 31 hmm. there is no other number which divides into 31 without any remainder so we have only two factors right now we have some special terms if we have only two factors then we call that number as a prime number. If we have more than two factors in these cases, what we saw was more than, right? More than two factors, correct? Then we call these as composite numbers. So let me write numbers with this. So composite numbers are those numbers which have more than two factors. Prime numbers are those numbers which have only two factors. Now the question for you is, how about the number 1? Hmm. How will you categorize 1 as? 1, is it a prime number or a composite number? Think about what is 1. How many factors will 1 have? 1 times 1 is 1. It has only one factor. So it's neither. Okay. So it's neither. Remember that this is most important question when we talk about prime numbers and composite numbers. I think with this video you understand the concept about factors. You also understand if there are two factors for a number, just two, then that number is called a prime number. If you have more than two factors, the number is called composite number. Number one is unique. It is neither of these two since it has only one factor, correct? And review your divisibility rules to factor numbers. Thank you and all the best.